This short clip is presented by Edge. Edge is our pro-to-pro -pro advisory service, which is all about the macro with a focus on one-to-one -one engagement with the hedge fund manager, Craig Shapiro, and direct access to LaDuke Trading founder, Samantha LaDuke. For more information about Edge, visit www.laduketrading.com slash edge. I think what many corporates are looking for or hoping for is you know some bond market uh, rally here, maybe in a slow whatever in a slowdown or something else in order to uh, you know find times for them to refinance. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know the, the window has largely been closed uh, for certainly the last uh, you know the last three months and unlikely to to reopen unless dollar liquidity is brought back into the market. And the question is, why is the Fed or Treasury going to bring in dollar liquidity into this market at this point? And the reason that that could happen is because you know, treasury market starts to dysfunction, hasn't happened yet. Some banks start to you know, really struggle again, hasn't happened yet. Um, a, a, some some country somewhere starts to blow up, and we start to see spreads blow out. Hasn't happened yet, so I think it's I think it's likely to happen. And this is my argument for the next you know one to two weeks of risk, and maybe risk into the end of the year. We are going to see things break, and that has a high likelihood of of bringing the Fed uh, liquidity idea back into uh, into play, but. We need to do the order of operations first. We need to get the pain first in order to bring in the liquidity. And I think, see, someone's asking about gold, and I'll even just yes, that's know, why throw, I have this in, dollar yen in, on the uh, yeah. We got to end gold, on gold. Gold, in my view, gold. Um, I think there's two. Th there, there's a bunch of things that are going for gold, but broadly speaking, gold will anticipate the eventual uh, need for liquidity uh, that comes into markets. So I think that's part of the reason why why gold has has been outperforming and has been rallying recently with the dollar is that you know this dollar strength is starting to break some things abroad, and so the gold market saying, well, eventually it's going to break a lot of things, and so you know gold anticipates that. Get your allocation into gold. Mm -hmm. Gold also does well in times of geopolitical concern and and gold also um, from a structural point of view as the US Treasury asset the neutral reserve asset of the global financial system is coming under tremendous pressure and tremendous volatility there are there's less and less desire to own it if you are some foreign actor particularly if you are a foreign actor who may eventually find itself uh, in, as a, an enemy of the U.S. as opposed to an ally of the U.S. As we've seen, you know, last year with respect to Russia um, having their reserves expropriated. Um, you know, you have China, who is a potential enemy. You have various actors in the Middle East who could very easily find themselves as enemies of the U.S. at, at risk of reserve expropriation if. Let's say the Israel Gaza thing, uh, you know, exacerbates into something that's, uh, you know, even worse than it's already been. Um, so, as more of the global East and South want to own less U.S. Treasuries, they need to find some neutral reserve asset in order to store excess reserves in. And gold is the logical beneficiary of that. So that is your structural uh, force behind gold. And when you add on to that, That's these accelerating, it. these accelerating deficits at 8% of plus of GDP. And look, if we go into the last three recessions that the US has had, deficits have blown out to between 8 and 12% of GDP. Well, we're already at 8% of GDP. So if we we're going to have a recession now, think about the amount of printing uh, that the government was likely to do in that point, deficits could blow out to mid teens percent of GDP. I mean, the gold, you know, the dollar in that case, uh, you know, would get flushed and gold mm -hmm. would have a significant revaluation from here. So um, I think gold is a structural long, it should be a part of everyone's portfolio. Currently, it's not part of the 6040 portfolio at all. So that's ridiculous, right? I mean, most financial advisors have zero allocations to gold, they've been trying to buy the dip in duration all year seems like if you want to own if you want to own duration you should own the ultimate duration asset which is gold which has no counterparty risk so i, I see more oh. and more folks who who will be allocating some percentage of their wealth to hard assets particularly gold you know for the course of the coming months and quarters now if you're looking for a high octane play on this idea too i think that's where bitcoin comes in um i think bitcoin is you know rallying for a lot of reasons um, you know, one of which is this this ETF drama that's going on. It seems as though uh, the SEC is is going to allow for a Bitcoin ETF, which 
really, I don't even think is, you know, going to be such a huge deal, but uh, it may actually ultimately be a near term sell the news event. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But Bitcoin also benefits from these same dynamics as gold with, with its fixed supply. Um, and in countries that are you know, becoming, um, you know, more or, or having issues about inflation, uh, whether it's Nigeria right now is having a big problem, Turkey, Argentina, you know, and clearly uh, nations that are finding itself, you know, in geopolitical issues and having war issues where there's no currency or there's no ability to store your wealth and, uh, and you're, you're being forced to flee your home, potentially. The only thing you can leave, if you have, if you can, if you can memorize 12 words, you can leave with you can leave with a lot of wealth, or you can leave with whatever wealth you have. So there is a dynamic in play where Bitcoin um, continues to take you know share of the global monetary system. It's a five hundred billion dollar asset. It's just too small uh, if it's going to become part of the financial system um, in a multipolar world. So I think Bitcoin kind of fits as a follow on to the reasons that um, to shrug about. Watch the full episode and subscribe to Leduc Trading YouTube channel for more macro to micro videos and other content.